In today's video, we're going to go through about five tips I bet you didn't know about Power BI Desktop and Power BI Service. So, how about we get started? So, welcome back. My name is Rufasola from Curval.com, and in today's video, we're going to go through five steps I bet you didn't know about Power BI Desktop and Power BI Service. So, First one, it is you can actually convert a Power BI template file into a Power BI file easily. The only thing you need to do is to change the extension from Pivot to Pivot, and that's it. And that the same goes the other way around. Uh, how is this useful? Well, if you find a Power BI template that you can't open, just convert it into Pivot and it will open. It happened to me before and it's super useful to know. So hopefully it's useful for you too. So tip number two, do you know that you can share a report with the current filters and slicers that you have on the report? So you select a few filters, you put some, you know, select some slicer, some filters on the slicer, and you want to share it with somebody else. You can actually do that in Power BI service. So what what is that useful for? So, I don't know. Imagine that you have a headquarters report and you want to send it to your company in Spain. You can set all the filters to Spain and share it like that so they don't have to filter it by themselves. I think it's very, very useful. Next tip, tip number three. So this tip came this function came, I don't know, a few months ago, and I actually use it on the FIFA report video. And what I did is, you know, when you're creating visuals in Power BI, you have these annoying headers everywhere. And when you publish it to the server, the headers are still there. So for me, it feels like the report is not finished. It still feels like it's you know, you're working on it, or you're still designing it. The Power BI team came with this functionality a few months ago, and I think it's absolutely fantastic. There's a few bugs, but you see, you can actually hide those headers, so it actually looks like a printed dashboard. It looks finished. You know, when the user clicks, nothing else pops everywhere. And I think it's really, really nice. The bad thing about it is that it hides functions that you have on the header. Like, for example, Expand, I think you can do it by right clicking, but there are other things that you can't do with this dot dot as it's not available anymore. I guess they they are working about it, you know, to be able to give you that functionality back, but still, I think it is a good use, for example, in my FIFA report, just to be able to hide all those headers because you don't want them, you don't need them. So it's a useful tip. How do you do that? You go to Power BI Desktop. You go to options and there you file properties, you will see hide headers, and then you can do that. So, tip number four first of all, in Power BI Desktop, you can actually document columns and measures. We talked about that before. So, you can write this measure calculates the sum of sales for Spain, and you can see that those comments in Power BI Desktop. You couldn't see them in Power BI service, but you can do that now. They are available there, which is really, really, really useful. Document as much as you can your models, it will help your users tremendously, okay? So that's the tip number four. Tip number five. This is how to hide multiple columns in Power BI Desktop. Before, to be able to hide columns, you have to hide them one by one. And if you are, you know, I've, I've been working actually with a model now that I had to hide all the columns because all the columns that were there were supposed to be measures and it was an absolutely pain. But I knew this trick, so it wasn't anymore. So what you do is you go to the relationships pane, you can expand the tables, and then you can click on the first table and you shift. F10 
And then it will allow you to select multiple tables at the same time. And then you can just hide them, okay? So that is a very, very, very useful trick when you have a lot of columns that you want to hide. So those are my tricks. Now, question for you. Did I manage to teach you something? Is there any tip that you didn't know? Let me know which one. I would love to know. And more importantly, do you have any tip that you want to share with us? Just let me know in the comment box and I will take them on the next video. Until then, take care and I'll see you very soon. Bye!